doing on the block, and I'm here with. Hey, I'm Robbie. I'm Chris. Hey, Shafiq. No, they're not a boy band. <laughs> they're friends hanging out. All right. If we were a boy band, we'd kill it. I bet they would. <laughs> How do you feel about the mayor uh, busting in migrants from Texas and putting them in hotels instead of the homeless? I didn't even know that was happening. <laughs> So, you know, how, how about Texas like takes care of their own? Yes, and I also work in Midtown where it's congested as it is and the city is filled with a lot of homelessness and crime. So I'm not exactly fond of it. Um, so I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it is. It, I feel like it's going to add to more of what New York has as negative. Do you think we're in a recession right now? We are definitely in a recession. Uh, everything's expensive, but you know, I'll, I'll take what, what people say. I mean, we just met up for the first time in like, what, a year? And our brunch menu was like $200. So yes, we are in a recession. I don't even know how we can even afford to be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Biden and Harris has done a good job in office so far? That's difficult to answer. Compared to what we had or what our options are, it's hard to answer that. But the answer is no. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Biden and Harris. I, I'm a huge fan of the fact that they just passed a huge bill, the first bill on climate change. So they've got my vote. I will be voting for them in the future. That's the first time in history. So yes, 100%. Yes, I agree with Chris as well. I mean, considering what our options are, I feel like they're doing the best they can do considering the pandemic, recession, all of the Oregon. above, everything yeah. that's going on. I feel like everything is happening at once. And honestly, I feel like they're doing the best they can to manage the population. The Who do you blame for all the crime in this city? Oh, that's hard. Who do you think is responsible for the crime? Like the people, the governor, the mayor? So I think it, I think it truly has to do part with inflation, but also the fact that the government needs to do a better job of controlling the population. I mean, there's homeless, there's a lot of like, um, homelessness and we need to do a better job of I guess figuring out what to do with this situation because people are, you know the crime will incre increase if people don't have a place to stay and can't afford food and can't afford shelter and basic basic necessity of life so uh, second that as well we need better systemic support from local and federal government to support the fact that people can afford what they can and live a very happy life so they don't need to go out and do such things. And, not every, and truly not everyone can hold a job. There's people with mental instability, there's people with like, like physical health, mental health, any type of ailment, they cannot hold a job. And so you need income to, in order to live a proper lifestyle. So they need, they depend on the government for support. So I think we need proper infrastructure better infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, given how expensive it is, like, what do you expect? That's, that's the reality. Recently, 87,000 IRS agents have been hired. Do you think that will help or hurt the middle class? IRS agents? IRS agents. Okay, I mean, I think that it's important to know what, what people are, how they're contributing to society. So I think having a better system that works for the people will help, so I don't see that it's a negative. I think it will help, and not only that, it gives people jobs. And I think in the US, today's economy, people need jobs, so I think honestly it will aid. Yeah, I, I, absolutely, I, I think it's gonna help the middle class, because th these people, are, they're being hired to focus more on, on the wealthy, the people who are just getting scot-free on, on their tax bills, so. so to crack down on them more. It's, it's time that they pay their bills. I mean, I think they're unrelated. We don't know. I mean, I don't know what they were hired to do. I don't know what their jobs are. It really matters. Like, I, I need more details to answer that question. So Biden and Harris has been off in office for a year and a half. Do you think Trump has anything to do with what's going on right now? I mean, he just got raided at his, uh, you know, place in Florida. So, yeah, he definitely has. I mean, you have to deal with the repercussion of your life and he ran the country poorly for so many years, so we're dealing with repercussions. So do I believe that he has anything to do with it? Yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're still living the, the shadow of the Trump presidency. So, you know, the inflation that we're facing today, that was the result of <laughs> the bills that he passed, the, the, the trillions of dollars he pumped in the economy, giving tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires. 
Um, that's why we see so much inflation today. So we're, we're still living with that. Yes, I absolutely agree with everything everyone said. I feel like it's an after effect of the presidency and he has a legacy and I feel like you don't see a lot of his repercussions from the decisions he made while he was in office until years down to like the typical people like us. So I feel like you are going to be seeing that and it's, it's, it's looming. Absolutely. And the cherry on top of the cake is a reversal of literally the abortion like ability in the entire of nation yeah, exactly. and freedom of choice. That is the and cherry that, that on top. Right. That used to be a right. And now right. it's Trump no longer a right. people on the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court did exactly what he said they, he wanted them to do, which was to get rid of abortion. Yeah. So we don't deal with people who don't understand that. <laughs> what do you think about Governor Hoku? I don't live here. Uh, what do you think about the governor of your state, in Texas? Oh, I hate him, and I think he's a mess, and I, Texas needs help. We're losing water. We are, there is literally... Oh, his governor's the one that's sending the migrants here. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, it's yeah. a disaster. I feel bad. We're brothers. And I live in, so yeah. we're brothers. We're twins, actually. Wow. He lives in Texas. I live in New York. Wow. So we're seeing absolutely what's going on. and. I feel like it's such a, it's, it's actually disgraceful, the fact that they're sending their migrants here. I think they can control their population. I think in the United States of America, we're welcoming to all. So I think as a human rights issue, they're able to support their people. And if people need help, like basic food and water, they should be able to support that and sustain that. It shouldn't be, okay. an, it shouldn't be an, in, an inner city issue where they come to New York City that's already facing issues to begin with versus Texas when we had the electric grid fail, Ted Cruz was on a plane going to Cancun, Mexico, or wherever he was going. So it is literally night and day. I feel bad for the state of Texas, but most of the people, I feel like they don't understand the, the problem or the issue. Thank you so much, fellas. Yo, y'all are so awesome, nice man. You. Yo, y'all are so you. awesome. Good thank you so much. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Good luck with everything. yes, yes. I hope Yo. that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops.